pretty much involved in every area from the project management, overall project management, design, supervising contractors, contract management, administration. Basically, been involved in most of the elements of the early works program. I probably small percentage of the planning and a very large percentage of how the installation will interact with the building while we're open to the public and while we're trying to operate life support systems around these installs. Stage two was the battery room and the thermal storage area. Concept was already there but I finished off the drawings and collated them in a, a format that could be specific for certain um, parts of the construction. Then there's been varying ongoing parts of that as gantry construction, um, ergon energy, the new entry. I was in the later stages of putting uh, the bits and pieces together after it had all been planned. The main areas that I was involved with were the RO units, or the reverse osmosis units, the uh, predator tank sand filters and um, the protein skimmers. When we got the approval to go ahead, um, things happened really fast. So that was a huge challenge to make sure everything went smoothly, the communication was good and everyone knew their roles and we made things happen on time. Um, it tend to happen in a sequence, so if you don't get the sequence quite right, things can go wrong. I think actually, to be honest with you, the main challenge was actually fitting them into the space that we had to work with. Very, very tight spaces and very quite large pieces of equipment that had to go into those spaces. And lots and lots of pipe work and valves and things uh, that had to fit all together to make it work. And that was the biggest challenge with all of those uh, areas. Probably the biggest challenge with the small animal holding was designing a system that had versatility. We wanted something that would meet the functional requirements, but we didn't really have certainty on exactly what we wanted. Basically, we wanted to have a system that was quite flexible and be able to do um, anything from like just holding animals in preparation to transport them, or if we wanted to treat animals um, that were sick or injured, or if we wanted to cultivate or culture or propagate um, corals and that kind of thing as well. The most challenging element was the changeover of the main switchboard while we remained open to the public. Well, we had customers walking through the, the aquarium looking at the exhibits. We had life support systems to maintain while we swapped over a 2000 amp main supply from Ergon. As other people, and Mel would always say, it's a game of Tetris, so getting it all together to, to work interface with each other was, was the hardest, but the most rewarding. I would say that Small Animal Holdings probably been my biggest achievement to date. It's given me uh, a great deal of satisfaction seeing it all come together from concepts and ideas. I think I'm most proud of the skimmers really because I, I just I enjoyed the job. It's the biggest component and probably the most complex component that I did out of those various jobs. And uh, yeah, it's, it's lovely to see it finished and it looks really good. Working in a team that's functioning really well and, and when the team is, everyone knows their role, um, they're really excited to be involved and um, you know, working really well together, um, that, that's amazing experience when, you know, you sort of go beyond um, the individuals in the group. I know it sounds like a cliche, but, um, but it's really true and you can just get fantastic outcomes.